What's up, Ann Clan? And good morning. Starting today off with the puppers. And I just wanted to update you guys a little bit on how they're doing. Come here. All of their eyes. I remember last update, their eyes were like one of one of the puppy's eyes were starting to open. And now they're all kind of starting to just slightly open. So sweet. This is the little baby run. I don't know if you can tell because her eyes are like black, but her eyes are about to open. They're like trying to open. Look at how chunky this one is. So cute. They're just getting bigger and bigger every single day. It's so crazy to see. And now they're starting to like walk and they look like little grandpas trying to walk. Like they're just very, very slow moving. It's just funny to watch. They're so cute though. Little cuddly bugs. Anyways, we have a really fun day planned. A progress day, really. I want to help you. Okay. I got this. It's a work day. A bus work day. A shaw shy. Yesterday was kind of a crazy day. I'll give you guys a little bit of a rundown on it. So we have to put the things back together that we really didn't last night because it was dark and they were tired from working all day. What are you using? A witch! That's right. Well Here. We're going on an adventure. I decided to pull up on this bus right here. Huh. They have this conversion. It's an, they're not done with it yet. So they have this box on the outside. I love the bus conversion. It's looking beautiful. No, I'm just kidding. It's just a movie truck. So we decided to take a little break on the bus for a while. Yeah. Um, we're going to go get some food, recharge our batteries. Recharge them. Recharge them. Derek's going to uh, learn all about that working on this solar system soon. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to do that, and I think maybe we're going to go look for some places to maybe repurpose some yep. materials. This is something I've always wanted to do. It's called dumpster diving, but <laughs> in another sense, it's recycling, recycling. Reduce, materials. Reduce, exactly. recycle, guys. Yeah. But I've Three always R's. wanted to do this literally my whole life, and so today is the day that we're going to do it because we're going to look for some parts that aren't being used otherwise, yep. so we're just repurposing it, and it's go an ham. adventure. We finna go ham. That's one of the cool things about bus life is you're buying less, 
you're using less and the things that you do have a lot of them are repurposed and they have maybe they have multi-use or you're giving this school bus a second life to live an entire life of adventure so they're gonna be finding a bunch of materials second hand and anything that they do that with is going to be helping the environment for sure going less into landfills and using more on their bus saving the money so so with that being said, let's go to McDonald's. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see what we're about to find. Hopefully we can use a lot of it on the bus. Yeah. If not, we can either give it to somebody who can use it or take it right back to where it was going in the dumpster, so. After this though, we have some really fun plans to actually map out the whole bus. So, so I'm we'll gonna actually be really get excited a for that. feel of like where all the things that we intend to put in the bus, such as our kitchen, bathroom, bedrooms, bunk rooms for the kids or however we're going to basically just a layout yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun let's do it let's do it turn up babe Woo! oh there it is my friend a bus! <laughs> we all have an eye for buses now because obviously we're doing bus life and before i never thought to look for buses but let's, now they're everywhere you saw that bus bubby this is honestly perfect because it's like the kids' nap time. This is the perfect little nap time break. So we just made it to our first destination, <laughs> our first dumpster, <laughs> which is, by the way, completely legal where we are. Treasure number one. Rusty bolt. <laughs> what is and it? And a hose clamp. So we just stopped at a construction dumpster. What are the chances? Uh, what you got, best mom ever? You're gonna give this to your wife? Oh, yeah. This is what it's all about. Here, babe. That's you. Thanks. That's so You're the nice. best mom I ever. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. We got a clamp. We got a piece of wood. We're on a roll. So the kids are ready to get out of the car. So I think we're gonna hop outside and just play around a bit. You want to? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. We get to find lizards or frogs or something. What a nice trade-off. Acorn for the boy, flower for the girl. So it's the next day. We are about to map out the bus. We didn't get a chance to do it last night because we got home super late, but let's go do it now. Today is the day, and it's about to start raining, but it's gonna be the day. I'm so excited to finally get a map out of the bus, just to see like how everything's gonna be and where everything's gonna go. Are you excited, sis? Yeah. <laughs> you guys seriously would not believe how much stuff we got rid of today. Somebody was actually coming by the yard and was like, hey, are you getting rid of stuff? And we gave so much away to this lady that helps other people. So we felt really good about doing that. So this is what we, I don't know if we've shown this to you guys yet, but Garrick drew this up probably about a month ago or so when we were trying to figure out how we wanted the bus layout. Some things have changed, but this is pretty much how it's gonna be. So we're gonna tape everything off so we can see how it's gonna be in the bus, and we might have some changes here and there, but we'll see. It's raining! <laughs> Hazel, you wanna come play in the rain with me? Sure. Sure. Slow down, rain taps on the window. I'm dreaming, but it doesn't make sense anymore. Then the microphone on the wall. Upside down, singing down the wall So down, rain up on the window I'm dreaming, but it doesn't make sense at all And the microphone on the wall
finally uh, finished out the layout of pretty much how everything's gonna go. Obviously, we still have to do lots of construction. This is just a base layout of what we know where we're gonna place the items when we're ready for it. This tape here indicates our um, loft that will be Zoe and I's bedroom. We're gonna do a 20 inch roof raise, we think maybe a little bit higher. We have our loft extended out to six feet from the front, which will allow a full queen bed and some storage, um, which we can actually, I didn't tell you this, but we could either put it like head to foot this way or head to foot this way. I think it makes sense to do it this way yeah. so we have more room. Yeah, I agree. That allows for two feet of lower storage on either side. Obviously, we're gonna be taking out these seats. We just have these in here for right now. We just haven't got to it yet, but um, if you can imagine these not being here. Moving forward, we're gonna have our five and a half foot couches going from here to here. So if you can imagine, Sitting at the couch. So sitting across will be another same size couch. That way we can utilize it as face-to-face -face dining as if you were at a booth at a restaurant. So we're gonna have a table that comes That right comes here. out and we're probably either going to hang it from the roof because we saw an idea that we really liked from that aspect or maybe a flip out um, from both sides to where they meet in the middle type deal. We don't really know yet with um, obvious storage underneath everything will everything that we build will have storage either above or below so we'll probably have like bookshelves as well that we didn't really talk about above couches yeah. moving forward past that this is our this is our kitchen space here so if you can imagine it's going to be like an l-shaped kitchen l-shaped kitchen so we we measured this out literally to be exact so this is our, our kitchen countertop and within that kitchen countertop we have a 27 inch stove going in this space we just don't know if we want it here with a little bit of counter spot or countertop in between or all the way over but I think we're gonna do it all the way over leaving countertop space here the corner sink is gonna be here yep so if you can imagine the corner sink facing here so we're literally standing right here washing our hands um, and then here will be the fridge and we're going with a apartment size fridge so I think it's like 12 or so cubic feet uh, which is plenty of room for us we have a free space here I've seen a lot of people, they do like an actual countertop, but it leaves like no room to get through. So with the kids running around, I feel like we should probably do a pop-up yeah. desk, table, and or countertop. So basically it's just going to be on the wall <coughs> and then we'll put it back when we're not using it. There's two different ways that you can do a school bus build. The first one is, I, I think they call the it galley a galley. is like how you have a how you can have stuff on either side and then you just have this like one big hallway. Yeah. So basically when you walk into the bus, you can see from front all the way to the back. But we wanted it to have more of a homey feel, so we're gonna do the L shape, which just means we're gonna have a hallway. And it kinda yeah. Just, yeah, it kinda just like diverts your attention. So when you walk in, all you will see is the living room and kitchen, which is kinda normal for like an apartment. Yeah. So you walk in and, or you walk around this, Mind you, here's your fridge. You have a wall here blocking the fridge. And you have a wall here coming up. And then you have this hallway right here. Going straight across, there's going to be a pocket door that goes here. This is the bathroom with a door so we can have an outdoor have an shower. Outdoor shower <clears throat> if we want to. If we want to. And just have that option to be able to like, I don't know, I feel like it's a wet room. It's like... And also to like ventilate it when we are taking a shower, we can like crack it or right. whatever we want to do. And what's something I didn't notice is this is our kitchen window over the sink. Yeah, that oh, is that's such so a cute. cool window. Aww. This will probably be the shower with the door here, actually. So coming up, you have to come through here, open this door, pocket door, it would hide into a wall here, and you would step into the bathroom and be a toilet here, and then this would be a shower going out that way. So coming back out of the bathroom, this space here is Venture's um, crib, basically. It's gonna be an upper crib again. Gonna have a roof raise, so it's gonna be. There's gonna be up. so much room. This it's gonna be totally, totally different. I hope you guys are being are can see the vision because this is gonna, gonna be, be so gonna much, higher. much higher. Yeah, it's gonna have way much room, and we're everything that we are doing, we have measured it perfectly, so we know exactly how much space we're gonna have in the lofts. We have know exactly how much space we're gonna have. So, um, venture is gonna be somewhere. Probably really, he's gonna be like here. His crib thing will probably go maybe 10 inches higher than this ceiling and then we'll have 10 inches of storage space to go above him and then all that space below him yeah so, so all that will be all of venture storage, storage all venture storage and then moving forward this entire area here from all the way to the ground mind you these these ceilings are six foot they're they're like six foot um two or six foot four i want to say 
They're six four. We're adding twenty inches to that, and we're about to put that fully for storage for clothes, winter clothes, whatever we need. But a family that we just recently saw uses their pillowcases, their backing pillowcases uh, for winter clothes. For winter clothes, <laughs> it looks so aesthetically pleasing. It's not like they're just shoving clothes in the pillowcases. It's very cute and very it's, modern style. It's a genius idea. So we might really do that. Really good way to utilize space. Yeah. <clears throat> that's our that's going to be like a like a wardrobe cabinet. All kinds of all kinds of different boxes and storage and if you can imagine not just one big pull out open thing. There's so we're just going to build it over that wheel well yep. right there. We'll build it up. And we'll use we'll utilize as much space as we can down there. Turning directly around. This back square mapped out. It'll be built up so it'll be level and that's where the washer dryer combo is going to go mm -hmm. with obvious Lots of top storage space for clothes and clothes, all, whatever, and all whatever that. else we need. So this space might be the hardest to imagine because there's a lot going on back here right now. We're tweaking it the best way we can to fit our needs. Really, to fit the kids' needs. Yeah, like, for the kids. It, for honestly, sure. Garrick and I are so like we don't care about our space. We really just want to make sure that the kids have as much as they need. So we are obviously doing a loft in the front of the bus, which sacrifices the privacy of a bedroom for us, which would be a normally, most pe most parents and most people, they put a loft in the back for the for the parents with a closed off door, all that kind of stuff. But we really don't care. And we don't care, we don't we don't really need that. So we sacrifice our space I think it's gonna be them. so and fun. And I think they're gonna love it. It's yeah, gonna be so cozy up there. And imagine, I mean, we're still gonna have 20 more inches of space at least, maybe yeah. 25, 30, it just depends. Okay, so let's describe this So area I'm gonna try to explain this the best I can. From all the way back to right here is six foot, which is as long as a twin mattress. Yeah. So I have that mapped out on either side. Add 20 inches, that, that's 48 inches. They could, Wilder and Hazel could almost stand on them up yeah. there. They're gonna have enough room up there to be comfortable. We're also putting them lost style on either side, so they will have all this space to utilize. So we're gonna obviously like wood over this and like do, it's gonna be a totally different material and safe. This is one of the coolest parts in the bus, I think, and what I'm most excited for is the views from this spot. We're gonna keep this like a lounging area for the kids. So their bed, their bed thing will probably be, like the, the bottom of their bed, the platform, will probably be right here. Yeah. And they'll have mattress, that much space plus 20 or 25 inches. Yeah. So that's a it's a good amount of space up there. That's just for their bed. We're also going to do a slide that comes down into this room because they're going to have all this room from from there to there. Yeah, to this whole room is just going to be their play area. Yeah, this window obviously locks from the inside that they can't. I can barely. But imagine so. how many views we're going to see just lounging right here out that window. It's going to be awesome. So basically, yeah. So that's going to be a little lounging play area for them. Up here is going to be their beds. So there's going to be a slide that comes down. Yeah, we, ha we haven't figured out exactly the slide, but we definitely want to integrate the slide. Also, we were thinking about a rock climb for them to get into their beds. Just to make this area like as fun as possible, yeah. And like like we said, every, every little nook and cranny that we can find is going to be utilized for storage. So anywhere that we, anything. So like in this right here, we're going to like all of that is going to be like their toys and, and stuff and, yeah, too. Toys, they'll be able to put storage in it, put for toys and all kinds of stuff. So They're going to anyway. love it. So for their room, um, Garrick and I had them pick out whatever wallpaper they wanted. So Hazel picked out this like bumblebee wallpaper, and Wilder picked out a dinosaur wallpaper. So that's kind of how we're basing their theme of their rooms. And we just got in Hazel's sheets for her room since she's doing bumblebee themes. We got her little flowers. And then Wilder obviously is gonna have like dino sheets and stuff, but it's gonna be so cute. I'm so excited for that. This is obviously the driver's seat, but. All of this, we're gonna change. Yeah, all this is gonna change. This is all ugly and we're gonna frame over this. We also have plans to utilize this space as an office space since we are going to, we are actually going to put a wall completely up from the floor to the, to the basically to the bottom of our loft, which our loft will go so this is going to be closed off, basically. It'll probably, the, the top of the loft platform will be here, and then we'll have all that space plus 20, 25 inches. That's Underneath. how essential a roof raise is going to be for yes, us. Yes, it will make all the difference. So we'll be able to, fr we'll have a wall, a wall here with a door here that not only does it allow more safety, it will also double as a mud room slash 
office when we need it. So for the office and music room, we're going to make something to go over the steering wheel to like put our laptop wood, on. A wood platform. Yeah, and whatever Garrick needs for like his music stuff. And this will all be blocked off to double as our office. Also, this entire dash is going to be extended out. So yeah, those are kind of our mock-up of our plans. We also have these awesome outward swinging emergency doors or windows. Those are going to be awesome. There's going to be oh two in the kids' rooms. It's going to allow so much breeze. My absolute favorite um, features on the bus is the emergency exits. Yeah, we didn't even talk about that. We're planning on putting like a roll-up ladder. Imagine that you can just, you know, hook to the ceiling. So Garrick and I, whenever the kids are in bed, we can just come off our loft up here, come over here, and then go to the deck if we want to. So we're going to have a whole deck. We're basically going to put our, our deck in the center of the bus so we can have solar panels on either side of the window. So we can go out that window and reach out and wash those panels and go out this window and reach out and wash those panels. Probably also put a a wood channel down the middle so I can walk down and wash them. It would probably be a lot easier. But yeah, we're gonna have crazy solar panels up there. Still haven't figured out where exactly we want to put our TV. We're I think we're gonna here. put it on a swivel. I think it's gonna go somewhere like in that direction. And put it on a swivel. And on a swivel, so when we're sitting on the couch, we can see it. You can see it from the kitchen. And from and then our we loft. we can turn it around and see it in our loft. This is getting all so real, having it. Now that out I can like see it this. on the floor, it's like I feel like we have more space than I expected. So yeah, this is our home. We gotta okay, go get welcome the to rain. my house. We gotta Let go get the rain. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna end the vlog here. We have a lot of stuff that we have to do to the house. We're like hot and trying to move all of our stuff out. We literally only have a few more days, so. Today's Instagram shout out is Becca Lou. Shout out to you, we love you so much. Thanks for being you. part of the clan. Yes, Thanks yes. for following along. If you see this, make sure you DM either me or Garrick so we can send you a little gift just to show our love and appreciation for you and if you wanna be the next oh. shout out, all you have to do is be subscribed to our YouTube Follow channel. Me. If following us on Instagram, post any positive or our most recent Instagram oh. pic. If you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you're not already. Tickle that notification bell, please tickle it very see. hard and, and gently at the same time. So you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We'll see, see you in the next one. These two, you guys have no idea. Basically, where do we even start? Because like we, we started with ecstatic happiness. Yeah. Getting the AC fixed. Yeah. We were ecstatic. So we, we went through trial and error, through fuses and 